What's up guys, I'm the ESC Vlogs, back here today with another vlog for you guys. Today Esau facing Sonny on Moors. That's it, it was obviously, obviously it's on BT Sports. So with Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So just to show you the results, I think Roki Roki one two one in the back of the top of the league. And I I also saw a late um, equalizer from Dagenham and Ravage, ninety fifth minute equalizer. No, they won. Oh Dagenham on three two. Yeah. Nice minute. Older shots. No, sorry, older shot, not Dagenham. Older shot, sorry. Uh, yeah, and obviously then Knox County smashed Chorley 5 1. And Rexham obviously lost. Rexham lost 4 2, didn't they? And Everfleet won 2 1, with Bournemouth having a red card, like a first minute in the game, which obviously that helped Everfleet. So at least at least got um, three points on the board. And I think Chorley are bottom, then Everfleet, then it's Chest. The field, I believe. I think, that's, I think that's the bottom three. And also, I think we're either 20th or 21st. But yeah, hopefully we can win today because obviously, if we don't win today, we haven't won a single away game this season. We haven't scored away yet. Yeah, well, we've scored away. We're undefeated at home, which is obviously a good a good thing to have, but at least we need to pick points up away. And against Solihull Moors is a big ask to get three points. Obviously, Solihull did lose to Woking in the last game 2 0. So hopefully we can do the, repeat the same with what they did. I think, I think we'll lose 3-1 today. Lose 3-1? Yeah. Do you know what I've got a good feeling about today? I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. I don't know why I've got a good feeling, but I've got a good feeling. I think we're going to lose 2-1. Yeah. I'm going to 2-1. Not confident at all, mate. Uh, we're going to lose 3-0 today. 3-0. I'll see. My score, score uh, my goal score will be Tyrone Barnett. Who yours? If he does play. Um, if he does start. I think Boyce will get one. Boyce. Oh, yeah. He went to lost in... in oh, yeah. He didn't go for AC score. Do you think Mack will score for him? Um, yeah, I don't I think, think so. Michael Actually, well, I think he, he will play him because he knows how to Michael play. Score. One. Yeah, Mac might score, but I think Boyce will have him in the back pocket with Reader. He scores one in on it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, that'd be class. And Callum Howe as well would be another class goal for us. But yeah, I think we will lose, but if Jason thinks we'll win, then he, normally he's yeah, right. He's he, normally he's right he's when he says that. Right. No, like, like, born with 3-3, three, three. I had a feeling, didn't I, it was going to be 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. yeah, true, yeah. Oh, just and, you said, and we both got a score right last, um, last yeah, game. Yeah, I said 1-1 Easton Yeah, so did I. Yeah, just so. got a feeling. And I said 2-0 Stockport. Yeah, so did I. Exactly. I've just, so I've he's got, he's got, got a feeling. feeling. He knows the feeling of winning and losing. But yeah, just hoping we win today. Just give an update on the squad news. McKnight and Reedar came in for um, Sam Spar and Michael Green, which also that means we're playing back to formation five at the back. I think Cavs playing left back, which is not his favorite, um, two to position, but I remember me saying he would do it if just for the team. Also, I saw McCallum uh, just as I was walking near the, a tunnel and He's not playing today, which is unfortunate. I've seen that he said he's done his groin in, so he obviously be missing today. He said he pulled it on the last minute of the game. The game gets Woking, so unfortunate for him. He said 3-0 um, Solihull, so i put that in the, in the vlog for him. 3-0 Solihull. Also, we're playing a white kit first time this season. See, I, I don't rate the kit, but that's my opinion, so... Also, another um, player starting, um, Ron Mackinson, which is a massive, massive positive for us in the defence. So, we've got Reader, um, Rob, and we've got um, Boise in the back. Hey? 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 There's a white kit, white and yellow kit. The atmosphere is rocking here at uh, Electric. Oh. Start GoPro! Yeah, that's a lot of shit! Put your shams on the way! Shams and shit! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go!
Come on, Rilo. Get your head on first. Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Don't you step down to it, yeah? Oh, Tyro! Come on, he's slick! Come on, he's slick! Come on, he's slick! Come on, he's slick! Take your shit cap off! Hang on, the barbers! Oh my god, I'm Straight past you. Oh, 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 oh,
Call him out, you shit cunt. Go on. Danny Holmes on your asterisk, son. Go on it. Go. 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 Oh, We want bear a shot, so we want bear a shot. We want bear. We want bear. <laughs> 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 I was going to add boy or knee slide. Go, Tyrone! What are you doing? Lucky Barnaby! Oh, pains. Can you imagine that, Kev? Here we see Sarah Fiddy. The picture, she had one of them fake smiles. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! It's taking too long! Break in! Keep breaking! Mother! Keep it there, lads. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, 
Another vlog of the being Sully Hall 2 1. It's an amazing victory. Not gonna lie, to be honest. So, we started very well. Probably one of the best starts so far this season, I think, in the first half. I was scoring in the 80th minute with Danny Holmes, scoring with his left foot. For some reason, he loves the BT Sport cameras when he when he plays. So, I reckon he's done it in two, done two, scored two goals today, which I mean, he loves it. Don't know why, but obviously, what leader showed massive, massive leadership. Also, getting the two goals, and yeah, <clears throat> obviously, obviously, come from this, into the second half, sat back. We did right pressure to ourselves, but eventually we did get the second goal with that. I think yeah, again, Daniel Hollins, but the one main player I think except that being was Rob Atkinson, obviously coming from the back. He dribbled all the way to the edge of the box and he played it straight into Daniel Hollands. Hollands and then he just finished that bottom corner. What a goal. What a goal. I think that's his weak foot. That's his right foot, I believe. Yeah, I believe he's a left footer. But, yeah, Rob Axton got an assist for that game. And I think he was like one of the best players on the pitch as well, Rob Axton. And from there... We sort of actually sat back and we conceded eventually. It's like the same goal as Dagnum. Like comes in into the box and Shrijek was I don't I couldn't really see what, how, where he was, but when he came in, he was just out of position. And what they one of the sort of attackers or midfielder scored made it two one. But from there, they never looked like scoring, and, and we actually had a couple more chances, but. We obviously never took the chances, but at the end of the day, a 2 1 win against Sully Hall, which obviously they're probably most people predicting they're actually going to go up or get in the playoffs at least. That's, that's the first away win of the season, which a massive three points, massive three points. And also, with obviously Tyrone getting some minutes on the pitch, I think he did about 80 minutes on the pitch, I think, 85 minutes. Which is very good for him. Also, also Rida, Rida coming back in the back helped massively with his defensive abilities. But Australia had probably one of the best games so far in the AC shot this season, I, I think. <coughs> but yeah, I take a 2 1 win. Also, I did an interview with um, a fan, which was Jason. I'll be uploading that tomorrow. So yeah, next game is Barnet. So hopefully, we can come out exactly the same way we did against Sonny Hill. Just come out straight away. Push and push to get the first goal, and hopefully try to get another one, and and sort of like could sit back, but just hopefully don't concede as that like at least more than one goal. Try not to, but we are undefeated at home, so just wait and see what happens on Saturday. So if you enjoyed the video, give a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you'll see you Saturday.